Hi there beautiful souls, welcome back to Tuesday's talk with Grada. Um, I, my name is Grada Robertson and I'm the co-owner of the Purple House Wellness Center in Forth in Tasmania. Uh, every Tuesday around this time <clears throat> I spend 20 minutes with my audience and community. Uh, I like to think of it as a soul to soul session and, um, and I want to share a few things that happened with me or to me during the week or something about my client or something that I feel helpful and just to give you like 10 minutes of where your mind can relax and your nervous system can reset and recalibrate itself so you can feel more confident and restful inside your own body <clears throat> and um, today I want to talk a little bit about belief systems um, because um, all belief systems are limiting, right? And when you think about, and that might be a challenging thought, but when you think about um, the stuff that goes on in your body and behind the scenes, that is what controls our life, that, that is what opens and shuts door for, doors for us in life. And um, basically everything boils down to belief systems. And so in today's session, I want to unpack this topic a little bit because there are many people out there who don't realize that they have a set belief system about this, about that, about everything really in their life. And so it's they're going through life as if their cup is full and overflowing and no new ideas or new belief systems that would serve you better, like a different belief system. Those things can never enter the cup because the cup is already full. So today, I will use a few examples, I'll tell you a bit about my own story and then we're going to do um, a little bit of meditation and energy healing at the end to help you feel more expanded, come from an expanded place, maybe a bigger cup, right? So that new energy, fresh energy can flow into your life. So a belief system is simply <clears throat> a thought, it's based on thoughts that keep repeating themselves over and over and over again. If you think something often enough, it becomes a belief system. And a belief system is literally a program that has embedded itself in your nervous system, in your brain. Uh, the frequency sits in your body and in your outer bodies as well. So, I mean, we can't just clear it from the nervous system. We also have to clear it from your energetic bodies. And uh, this is what we base our life on, right? So. A negative um, belief system is a pattern, you could say, that hinders our happiness in many cases uh, because a belief system is almost, you could say, the opposite to infinite consciousness and our real self is infinite consciousness. Our real self is not bound by place or time or concepts or ideas. So belief systems come in and run the show. When we decide to come into a human body and our lives will actually go a lot better when we can allow some of that infinite consciousness back into our nervous system. <clears throat> so a belief system can be um, um, that I'm not worthy of love, right? And but yeah, these are often things that are in the background and we're not conscious of it till, till maybe you've had like one or two or three or four or five relationships that have caused you so much heartbreak, right? You didn't get validated or respected or loved properly. And so if this is the case, if something happens more than twice, and if things happen more than three times, you definitely have a negative program running that you need to shine the light of your attention on so that it can dissolve and heal and so you can have a better life. Of course, belief systems run our finances, because if your parents were poor or they were doing it hard and life was a struggle, that was absorbed into your body and being as a child and that will be running the show in your life unless you address it as well and check into it and do a deep dive in to see if you were different or you were the same. But most of us end up doing the same life as our uh, ancestors. Um, or maybe marginally better. But when you think about our world today, like society, it's such a place of abundance. We can all really do so much better and have so much more abundance 
and even have the ability to enjoy, enjoy our successes and to feel fulfilled. All that is also run on programs. <clears throat> so just to cut it short, in summary, a program, of course, starts somewhere, right? It's logical, so it has an origin. And in most cases, it didn't start with you. That's what I want you to know. A lot of the times when I work with clients, they're running on the programs of their ancestors, sometimes six generations ago, sometimes 10 generations. And then you can think of today, well, today, do you still want to live your life like that? Like everything's different now. You don't need to be running on that program anymore. So if you came to me, you were my client, I would make you aware, like, hey, this is happening. Have you noticed um, that your thinking is like this, your feeling, you know? will tell you when it happened and how it started and how it amplified in your life and then we heal it with energy and it's usually it's pretty well gone in one session then you just have to be aware that you catch yourself not doing the same thing over out of habit um, <clears throat> so um, a lot of the time you have to even using your own logical mind even without using intuition or healing abilities just go back over your ancestors like when was the last time one of your ancestors went to war for instance and when people go to war or when during wartime all the rules go out of the window right so there's no safety there's no predictability <clears throat> um, people suffer um, have this incredible hardship people are tortured and all the rest so that gets passed down the generations as well and then that could cause you to live in a scarcity system today on the inside. And of course, the Great Depression that happened 100 years ago isn't all that long ago. Um, people starved during the Great Depression. There was no work. People felt worthless. Their um, personalities became fractured and all the rest. And of course, that was <clears throat> given to their parents and their parents. And and they were your parents then. So if you're not careful, you give that to your children. So that's how strong negative thought patterns are um, or negative beliefs. And of course, you can even, even if you look around you, even just in the last three years when we had the pandemic, some people believe this, some people believe that, and then they couldn't be friends anymore. So our belief systems are overpower our relationships as well. So, if you know that you, if you look in your own life and you become aware, okay, I'm in the grip of a pattern here because my money is not multiplying or um, I don't feel fulfilled in my relationships or at work or I can't even remember the last time I felt uh, fulfilled or peaceful or excited, uh, please don't come and see me because we all we're all here to help each other right and i'm not just a coach i can coach you but i can also immediately clear those negative energy blocks with energy so that you're free you feel uplifted and all that burden some energy from your ancestors is gone and it's also then released from your children so that is the beauty of being an energy medicine consultant yesterday i had a session with an intuitive healer in New York State over Zoom and we do swaps uh, so it was my turn to be on the receiving side and she works very similar to what I do and she was just reeling off one thing after another that I thought and these were all like limiting beliefs by the way about myself and some of them were even stuck in my liver and another pattern was stuck in my gallbladder and then in my kidneys, in my heart, so it can even affect our organs as well. They're not just floating around outside of us, they're literally sitting in our body, hindering the free function of those organs. And, um, and so I was kind of shocked because I thought, well, I dealt with that pattern years ago, right? I thought I cleared it all. But the thing is, our deepest childhood issues are buried so deeply under the carpet you know like literally our body is put it either in up in the attic and through the key out the window or in the cellar somewhere and we literally as a person don't have access to those spots anymore so that's why a healer an intuitive healer or a coach um, can shine the torch in there 
and show you, like mirror to you what's going on for you so that you immediately have clarity. So today I feel amazing. I just feel so uplifted. So everyone needs help and everyone needs healing sessions. <clears throat> so um, today, uh, and I've um, written a little article so you can follow the four steps that you can do yourself at home to bring awareness to what might be going on, what might be running the show. It's similar to a computer, right? If your computer slows down or suddenly you don't have a screen or a program refuses to work, you take it to the repair person and the, the computer um, will probably say, or something will show up and it will say, oh, this section is running on an old component or that is section is running on an old system that's like totally outdated now, that's why it's not running anymore. So this is the same in our bodies. Our bodies will suddenly refuse to get up out of bed or refuse to do something for you because it wants you to upgrade your thinking and your belief system, your being. And you can do that, of course, again, like I said, by seeking help from an expert, um, have an energy medicine session with me, or go out into the forest to meditate, or listen to podcasts or anything that uplifts you as long as you are brutally honest with yourself as well and understand that the universe wants you to upgrade as well and not just uh, be blasé about the messages <clears throat> so today i want to take you through like a, a very short meditation um just to help you open up a little bit and be less like you know like this in your body or mind or so about certain topics in your life um, so that you just get to relax a little bit and if you were that cup and you're full like it's overflowing with stress i'm talking about not happiness and joy because if that's the case you can leave it like that but your cup is full of belief systems that you adopted from your parents and your grandparents and your ancestors and your school teachers and government and all the rest this meditation just is going to allow you to um, pour that substance into a bigger cup so you become a bigger cup so there's space for you to grow and enjoy a new flow of energy that will flow into your relationships and into your money and into your health and immune system as well so I'm just going to invite you to close your eyes soften your body just allow the beings of softness that are surrounding you to relax, help relax your body you're surrounded by your guardian angel, nature spirits, streams of light, helpful entities, and they inter uh, they interact with your energetic field and your body as well. So just close your eyes and feel your body soften, especially your pelvic area your legs, your knees, your ankles, your feet, our feet and ankles and knees often brace against life. We're defending ourselves for what's coming or what we're surrounded by. We, sh we shut down sometimes. It's like we have an, a suit of armor that just gets heavier and more burdensome. <clears throat> sometimes this armor is actually inside of our body as well we can see it around our heart or our lungs making it difficult to breathe so just allow your body to soften and if you're conscious that there is a wall somewhere just allow that wall to turn to gravel And just allow the gravel to turn to dust, very fine dust. Then imagine a soft breeze sweeping along, taking with it the dust particles so you're free and open. And just rest in this new openness, this openness of full acceptance, total acceptance and support being cradled and comforted by the universe. And 
there's so much space around you, in front of you, behind you, to the side, to each side of your body, even below your body, it's like endless spaciousness. Just allow some of that spaciousness to flow into your body now, into the cells of your body, the tissues, the particles, into all the spaces. Allow that energy of acceptance and infinite consciousness to flow through your body and into your body. And taking your attention into your body now, like and for a minute becoming your own healer together with me. Imagine if you had a torch like your third eye was like a torch light. And you just shine it in around inside your body like your body is a container full of secrets. So many secrets and mysteries in there. Infinite secrets. And just allow the torch to rest on one little spot somewhere inside your body. Where it feels a little bit tense or contracted, or tight, or numbed out even. Just focus on one area with your eyes closed. And allow your own attention to rest on that area. Send it warmth and compassion. Welcome whatever needs to surface from that particular spot. Sometimes it's an image, a picture, it can be a thought, a feeling. Uh, and to us it often seems like a random thing, but your body knows what it's doing. It's definitely not random. Flooding this area with your acceptance. Just let it marinate and percolate. Sometimes there are words that arise from that area. You might hear a word or a sentence or a sound. And sometimes it could even be a belief system that you took on, you adopted it and it's no longer serving you, it's causing you pain and it's hindering and it's blocking the flow. It's stopping you from living the life that you deserve to live. Just let, let it arise, whatever it's there. Like an, um, a belief system can simply be like... Um, you don't deserve to have a best friend ever. Or life is such a struggle, that can be another belief system. Or you have to work hard for your money, otherwise you don't deserve it. Unless you work hard for your money, you're greedy. Another belief system can be, you have everything already, in your life and you're just so ungrateful just practice a bit more gratefulness that can be a belief system and I can assure you that um, practicing gratefulness is good and at the same time the universe or the creator wants you to follow your creative impulses as well <coughs> um, a belief system can be um, you are so dumb why did you do that? Or this this thing will always happen to you. Just give up. Why don't you even bother trying? And so all these things have come into your body through your family history. And sometimes past lives as well. So there can be karmic things happening in your life as well. It's like, it's all too hard. I just want to give up. But you can think of your own messages that flow out of that particular spot that caused you to shut, shut off or shut down. So once you have uh, used the torch light, the light of your own awareness <clears throat> onto that spot and you've marinated it with love and acceptance and instead of resisting what comes up, you're going to rest into it as if it's a comfortable bed, like a comfortable, super soft, 
king size bed and you're just resting those negative energies or belief systems that are coming up and just relax right into it you are much bigger than your thoughts your emotions your belief systems or your traumas or your history your infinite consciousness So just feel your body soften even more deeper, relax more deeply. <clears throat> Sometimes people feel, see colors. If colors come in, just allow the color to take over because colors are the language of the soul. And every minute, every breath, you feel more free. You feel freer, softer. more accepting, less judgy, feeling more spacious, less critical. You are so much bigger and more spacious than your harshest judgments that you have. And just for one more second, allow this ocean of acceptance to penetrate every particle of your being, every cell, every subatomic particle, your organs, your muscles, your skeleton, your liver, your gallbladder, kidneys and heart and lungs, pancreas, all those important organs, your brains, your eyes, feel every part of you soften. Healing is often just a relaxation of those parts of your body. And then your energy field or your outer energy bodies, they're looking squeaky clean and fully lit up. Allow the energy of the universe to pour into you and spread out through you and also go through your feet, hooking into the center of Mother Earth and then allowing the energy of the universe to flow back up and out through your crown chakra, showering you with energy. And now if you think of your cup, your cup is no longer chocolate block full, you've got space to breathe and space to question things and to adopt new ideas that are going to serve you better, like I am worthy and I do deserve true love and I deserve true happiness and I deserve to take good care of myself, I deserve to enjoy my successes and so on, you can fill in the blanks. I am safe, I'm surrounded by safety. I am connected to the universe and to all the invisible beings. I am important, my life matters. These are all really, really good belief systems that you can adopt into your body. So, okay, I'm going to invite you to open your eyes, come back into the room with soft eyes and just staying in this bubble of acceptance for the rest of the day. And this is just giving you a little taste what it feels like when some of your belief systems um, have dissolved, right? They deleted, the, the computer is done away with it and you just feel so free because change will always happen on the inside first and then your whole all your circumstances will realign themselves to give you a better life and to make you feel supported um, in helping you to live the dream, the life of your dreams, which is what you deserve. And that's what your soul wants for you. So I hope that you enjoyed this and I'm wishing you a really good week. Thanks for staying with me for 20 minutes. Um, if you came in late, um, just listen to the last 10 minutes when I talk people through meditation to just empty themselves out from stresses. Let me know what you think of this. I look forward to being with you next week. And also let me know if this resonated with you. If you have uh, um, ideas that constantly plague your brain and that are like deeply embedded in your body, please come and see me because you don't need to live like that and you can feel different already after one session. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. Look forward to being with you again next week. Big love for me. Bye, everyone.